What is up everybody, Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer. Now despite the forecasted uh, high in the mid-70s today here in Columbia, South Carolina, winter is indeed coming. And I know we've had our own uh, chilly weather here recently and massive parts of the country and the world are dealing with their own uh, fun wintry weather, but uh, the first day of winter is just around the corner, so what better time to do from Brewery Omegang, the latest offering in the Game of Thrones series, Valar do Hyrus. Comes in a uh, 750 milliliter bottle, wine style bottle, cork and cage top. And uh, fortunately, the labels are kind of coming off of the, this one right here, the top one right here, and the, the back, the front label is pretty well fixed, but. The rest of them are coming off a little bit. I, I did the last offering in this series, which is the Seven Kingdoms Hoppy Ale, I believe. Uh, that was one of my very first video reviews. I'll leave a, a link to that one in the description below. Uh, but have the next one in the series. Normally they have been coming out, I, I thought, in collaboration with the, the new seasons. This might be the first one, or maybe the second one, where they kind of did it in the in the off-season, which is fine, because I think any Game of Thrones fan is waiting impatiently for the the next season to start, especially now that we're in the, the home stretch of the television series as a whole. But they did release this one in October, and uh, here's what they have to say about it. In the world of Westeros, it is known that Valar do Hyrus means all men must serve in High Valyrian. Here at Brewery Omegang, we like to think that all men must serve beer. After an exciting season that saw a whole lot of spoilers, which I will not read, Brewery Omegang and HBO Global Licensing are introducing a new beer and bringing back a previous brew to steady the nerves of fans as they anxiously endure the, sh the show's off-season break. Ballardo Hyrus Triple Ale is the latest beer in the series and pays homage to Arya's season-long struggles within and around the House of Black and White. Valardo Hyrus Triple Ale is much like a faceless man, not what it first appears to be. It shares the complexity of its sister brew, Valar Morghulis Double, and a strength masked and belied by its lighter color. Uh, malts used include pills, wheat, oats, and flaked barley, noble varieties of hops, 9% uh, ABV. As a reference, this is kind of the companion beer, like they, say, they say sister beer, to one they released a few years ago. Uh, Valar Morghulis, which was a double double ale, Belgian style double ale. This is a Belgian style triple ale, and um, they've created kind of gift packs of the the two together with a a nice fancy glass. But I just bought this bottle alone. All right, enough talking. Let's check it out. I do not have the tulip glass or snifter or whatever they want to call it. Hopefully that will be, uh, hopefully I'll be adding to my glass, uh, collection here soon. And having some more appropriate, more diverse glassware. Uh, nice golden color. Light golden color, a little bit of orange and some, uh, some pale yellow highlights as I hold it up to the light. A couple fingers of nice pillowy head. Super fine bubbles. Good amount of carbonation coming up through it. All right, enough talking. Let's get to drinking. <clears throat> Plenty of uh, Belgian candy sweetness. Yeah, ton, quite quite sweet. Tons of tons of candy. Maybe just a, a hint of booziness as well. Uh, some some fruit in there as well. Maybe some some uh, apricot. A couple other things. Uh, nothing citrusy again. It is a, a Belgian style ale.
Yeah, that um, that Belgian candy is really a uh, a powerful part of the the flavor of the beer. Um, hits really hard at the beginning, and kind of just stays throughout the whole um, throughout the whole drinking experience. At the very end, I'm getting a little bit of a a little bit of bitterness and some funkiness as well. I get a little bit of maybe just a, a little bit of hoppiness as well, but uh, really the, the, the sweet candy note is what's really playing through here all the way. A uh, very tasty beer, unfortunately just kind of, uh, at least to me, relatively one note. Um, again, I can get I can get some fruity notes. I get a little bit of maltiness, a little bit of a uh, little bit of a little bit of a bite. But in general, it's just a uh, candy, candy, candy. It's not cloyingly sweet, though. I think uh, I'll be slow sipping this uh, 750 milliliter bottle the rest of the day. So, uh, but again, not not cloyingly sweet, not overwhelmingly sweet. But I would think drinking too much of it too quick would. Uh, would kind of sour the the drinking experience overall, unless unless you're uh, into these super sweet beers, but but I am not. Enjoyable, a sipping beer, and um, that's kind of the deal for the uh, Valar Dohiris, the latest beer from the Brewery Omegon Game of Thrones series. And that is it for this edition of poorly reviewed beer. You can find all of my reviews, video, and written, along with news, commentary, and more at PoorlyReviewedBeer.com. You can also check out PRB on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. You can find links and usernames for all of those in the description below. Uh, also, feel free to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.